joined by men's hockey coach Guy Gadowski. Well, coach, last time we talked was your very first day. Give us an update. How are things going? <laughs> uh, things are going great. It's been uh, it's been a lot of fun. It's been a bit of a whirlwind coming here and hiring a staff and trying to get to know all the great things that Penn State has to offer. So it's been fun. How about the staff? Can you tell us a little about those two guys? Uh, sure. Well, three. We actually hired two coaches that I had at Princeton, okay. Keith Fisher and Matt Lindsay. They're both mm -hmm. very hardworking. They both. Uh, you know, they, they feel very very strongly about a, a strong academic institution doing things right, so I think they fit in here very well. They, they're hard working with, uh, I think, in areas that are we're going to use to recruit the top student athletes, top student hockey players in the nation and, and in Canada. And then we also hired uh, Bill Downey, who is uh, a, a Penn State hockey grad who was actually director of hockey operations at Harvard last year. So he's got, and that's, that's who he will come to us in, in that role as well. So he'll, he'll be the director of hockey operations for the men's team as well as the women's hockey team. He did that at Harvard, so he has good experience and obviously loves Penn State, and that's perfect. What's been more challenging than you had thought, or maybe less challenging for that matter? Um, well, I think as far as challenge, it's just it's it's not that it's a challenge; it's fun. You know, we know that this is a lot of work, um, but we also have uh, something in our mind what's going to happen in the future. This being a big part of it, and how mm -hmm. fun it's going to be, and the spirit and the passion of the students. That's what we we know we're going to get. There's a lot of little details along the way to get there, so it's it's fun work. I think we're very well aware that. Um, when we are in this building and we're enjoying the, the atmosphere that we're going to look back at some of the, you know, the hard working times and the late nights and, and the little details and look back and sort of, you know, enjoy the, the feeling that those are sort of the grunt days and we got it done. You touched on the, the facility. Where Where is the facility at right now? What kind of update can, can you give us there? I was real fortunate. I, I had a chance to sit in on two design meetings, which were, uh, were pretty interesting and uh, very educational for me. Uh, they wanted my input, and I could hardly tell where, where things were, where, where it was up, what was down, and it was very uh, detailed and very intricate. It was really fun to watch. So I think uh, they're pretty much set on the, on the, uh, on the design, and, the, and uh, they're going to break ground, I believe, in, in, in the new year. Um, and it's going to be rocking, just like Terry Paguli says. He wants, the, uh, he wants the most rockinest building in college hockey. I think he's going to get it. Yeah, how much does that uh, excite you and have you looking forward to that day when you're in here for the first time? I'm, I'm pumped. I mean, I, I really can't wait. It's, it's, it's going to be exciting. The building itself is going to be really exciting, but you add to it the student, uh, the student body that we have and the passion that people have for Penn State athletics. It's just, it's going to be incredible. It's going to be, uh, that's why we're here. It's going to be a lot of fun. Now moving forward here in the next few months, moving into the fall, what's on your schedule and how are things going to look for you? Well, we're continuing recruiting. We, we mm -hmm. hit the ground running pretty hard and uh, we had to get some, uh, some athletes in here, number one, and we're doing that. And the staff's been out on the road quite a bit, um, as well as myself. I was really fortunate. I, I had a chance on the road to meet with uh, John Capaletti, which was extremely cool. And uh, so that was, that was tremendous to meet someone like that who obviously is a lot of passion for Penn State athletics mm -hmm. and is such an icon here. It was, it was really tremendous. So um, we'll continue to beat the bushes recruiting. We'll continue to work on the small details of getting ready for this season and in the future and uh, go from there. How about this winter? Looking forward to your involvement with the Icers? I am. I, I've already had a chance to meet with the team once and, and some certain individuals, and they're great guys. And uh, I think they're very excited about, about what, where the program is going. And it, it's, it's certainly a year of transition, but they're looking forward to the opportunity. I think uh, the seniors are looking forward to being a part of this, and, and, and the younger guys are looking forward to a, a part of uh, the opportunity to, to be a part of the Division One program going forward. So there's excitement from every class. and. Um, I think they're they're itching to get going. You touched on how you hit the ground running recruiting and how, how busy things have been. Are you happy that there's that year in, in, in advance that you're <laughs> able to one? do all these things? <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'm happy there's one. Uh, maybe, you know, we're not sure one is enough, but yes, I'm very happy. And I'm, ha I'm you know, there's a lot of little things going on that you just don't really mm -hmm. think about. And, and, and in terms of uh, every aspect off the ice as well as on the ice. So certainly I'm not sure 12 months will be enough, but we're enjoying the time. We saw a picture of you earlier this summer playing a little pickup hockey. Have you, have you played much this summer? No. <laughs> no, that was the first time I actually No, That's the first time I've played hockey in quite a while. Um, uh, I've had a couple injuries along the way, so mm -hmm. it was nice to get back to it and had a lot of fun at the rink. 
Well, Coach, what, what are you looking forward to most here in the next year or so? What, what has you excited about this program? Uh, being immersed in the culture. And as I said, I really, I'm really i excited about learning why Penn State is Penn State, why, why they do things so well, and, and why they're so passionate, why everybody just loves Penn State. And, and I think that's the most exciting thing for me, is trying to, try to really be immersed in that, in that environment and bring it to the, pro, the hockey program as well. I'm sure it very much is now, but to the foundation that I, I believe that we need to move forward in Division One and be successful there, and, and and have with it the values and the ethics and the passion that Penn State has. So learning that and being a part of that to me is the most exciting part. Coach, we greatly appreciate your time. Thanks for talking to Tony, us. Tony, anytime.